how to do an upgrade from version 2.2 software to version 2.3. Now here I have a sketch file I've already prepared for my um, vampire H6 and if we just go down quickly through it I've got hex H6 it's a Paris series GPS um, uh, pretty much everything else I've left as standard uh, but I've gone through this in another video so you can see what you do and don't have to set I've got a I've got my GPS set uh, I've done my magnetic decla declination so all that stuff really just doesn't change anything some of the stuff is available in the GUI now so there's actually less to do in the actual config H file so anyway so I've got that done now, so I'm actually going to plug in the USB port to my vampire, which is already sitting here powered up with my radio on as well. And the first thing I'm going to do is before I even um, dump code into it, is I'm just going to open up the um, version 2.2 config uh, GUI. And I'm going to connect to my board, take the... Um, obligatory count to five hit start and at this point in time what I'm doing here is I'm just going to check the existing configuration so that um, I've got this data so we've got um, we can we can take a screenshot of this which isn't a bad idea but what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this configuration so I'm going to click on save I get this little window and I'm going to save as um, Vampire onto my desktop and save that file. Done. All right. And then I'm going to close the config. Um, one thing that do I'll just note that doesn't get saved is your switch position so you might want to take note of what you had there mine are pretty standard from every airframe so anyway all right i've closed that off now coming back to my code so i'm assuming you've gone through and checked that all your settings in the config h are correct i'm just going to click on verify anyway and just do a quick compile and make sure that does actually compile correctly it does so checking my board type, checking my port, I'm now going to upload that. To my vampire. So you can see it's doing a compile again, it's doing an upload. Just while that's running, just a note, when you're doing this sort of thing, you really should take your props off before you start, just as a safety precaution, because as you can hear in the background, the ESCs are all beeping away, because during the process of the upload, the code isn't actually running. So, cool. That's done. That's now uploaded. So now I'm going to open up the new version 2.3 config file. And going to wait for things to stop. Link. I'm going to click on the, ser the correct port. I'm going to close this because there is this little bug still that the port names overrun the windows. Now I've waited the obligatory few seconds. I'm going to click on start, and the first thing you noticed is the accelerometer is just way off scale here. So I'm just going to hit calibrate the accelerometer now as the first thing I do. And you notice all the PIDs are different. All this stuff is different. So I'm going to load from the desktop. Now, for some reason on Macs, it doesn't recognize the file extension. So you just go to all files, find the vampire file I created, and open it. OK, and that populates all the PIDs. But that doesn't save them to the board until I hit write. Okay, and now I'm going to click on read and all of my PID settings that I had previously 
are now saved across into the board having done the reset. So next thing I need to do is redo my aux switches. And I'll just do those quickly. Uh, barrow, barrow, mag. I use aux one for flight modes in case of the vampire I tend to fly it in angle mode most of the time, other airframes I'll select horizon and, and acro depending on uh, where I want the switch position to be for those. Um, and aux 2 I use for return to home, so being return to home uh, for GPS modes. So for mid I've got position hold, which also needs mag and barrow selected. Uh, and then I've got GPS home uh, selected on the high position of that switch which also selects again barrow and mag. If I had different flight modes selected here, I would also include in these angle mode in both of those. But given them all, this one's predisposed to always be angle. And I will write that. Great. Now, last thing I need to do is a magnetic calibration, but I'm not going to do that just now. I'm actually going to do that um, remotely later because I find I don't get a good clear um, cowl when I run it on the bench. So that's basically it. Um, that's now ready to go. So I'll go off and fly that, but that's as simple as it is. Catch ya.